Boys and guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back with another reaction. We are. We, we've been off for a few days. Um, Archie is teething at the moment, so we're not always able to record. But within a month, you guys will be starting to get but America we'll definitely videos. definitely have one. Yeah, no, I mean, like America videos will start coming through. So different type of content, a bit more in real life content and some awesome content. So early access will be on Patreon. So if you sign up today, there's a chance you'll get a few videos early access. If you want to leave it a little bit, you will be getting early access next month at some point on American videos. And then obviously on the channel because we're so, so keen. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get into it. What have we got? We all love debunking myths in popular culture. Television shows, podcasts, and documentaries have been dedicated to doing so. However, we rarely think about the common myths that are true. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 common myths you won't believe are actually true. Okay. Let's see if we believe them or not. 25. A large percentage of U.S. currency contains cocaine. Hey, what? Though scientists say there's not enough on money to cause health risks, cocaine binds to the green dye on dollar bills. Oh. Once one contaminated bill is put into a bank money machine, it contaminates all the other bills. And that's how 90% of U.S. currency contains cocaine. 24. What? Water. Yeah, you know, just uh, people, yeah, just sniffing a... Uh, mm. Well, I've never heard that myth. I've never heard that. Well, I've never heard that myth, and apparently it's actually true. But do you know what? Money does smell good in a weird way. Why? You think cocaine smells good? I've never smelled that... cocaine. Is that... <laughs> like... No, but like, imagine if... Imagine... No. imagine if you're addicted to cocaine. Yeah. That would smell good to you. No. Yeah, you just said it smelled good. No, I said money smells good. I didn't say cocaine smells good. We don't have cocaine. Oh, yeah, we, we would have... You said uh, US. And we also, yeah, we don't have it now. <laughs> But if you sniff notes and you like cocaine... Yeah, maybe people are sniffing it. I don't know. <laughs> explode. While the chances are low, it's still possible to superheat your water in the microwave. Since you can't control the temperature in the microwave, you're better off just using a kettle. Yeah, 23. A, kettle. a student mistakenly solved an impossible math problem. In 1939, George Bernard Danzig arrived late to a statistics class at the University of California and found two math problems on the board. Mistakenly thinking they were his homework, he wrote them down. Of course, he didn't know at the time that the problems were statistical theorems that hadn't been proven yet. He took his homework home and worked out the proofs for the theorems. 22. I'm so glad we Celery didn't is like that. That's just like advanced math, isn't it? Oh my god, when I've seen it in the movies. I've been like, like before, before I went like in later stages of school. Yeah. I'd be like, how am I ever going to figure that out? <laughs> then I got to school and they didn't teach me that. Yeah, that was like advanced maths. I was alright maths, so yeah. But you're not a fan of maths, were you? Those bracket things. And... Is a negative calorie food. Wait, what? Placing a man in a metabolic calorie chamber, researchers tested whether or not celery is indeed a negative calorie food. He was fed 326 Next. grams of raw celery worth 53 calories. During that time, he burned 72 calories. You burn more calories than you consume with celery, making it a negative calorie food. I'm seeing. Just eat celery for some of my life. I do like celery. It's nice. Wow. Just eat celery. Celery diet. <laughs> I still don't like it. It's gross. I like, I like it. It's nice. Peanut butter, butter on bun and soda is fine. Celery ruins it. I like celery. Celery's gross. I like celery. No. I'm sorry you're wrong, but celery's gross. <laughs> That's just your opinion. Yeah. And yours is wrong. wrong? <laughs> 21. Someone safely landed a plane in the middle of Manhattan. Twice. Ooh, we know about Before one. Captain Sullenberger landed on the Hudson River, yep. a man named Thomas Fitzpatrick landed in Manhattan twice. After making a bet, he stole a plane and landed it on St. Nicholas Avenue, right in front of the oh, bar where he made the bet. Wow. Then, two years later, he did it again, both in narrow areas in the dark. What? 20. That's Avoid risky. teaching hospitals in July. While sometimes you have no choice but to go to the hospital for one ailment or the other, if you can avoid teaching hospitals in July, you might be better off. Uh, July is when medical sense. students become interns. Yeah, that's when the newbies are going in. Like, okay. yeah, we, yeah, we just said it. Um, if oh, you, I do not. If you're about to have, yeah, interns of a newbies who've just gone in to oh, yeah, just the past school. It's a just teaching hospital. School, yeah. If you're having a surgery which can wait, or you can get in before, yeah, you don't want a newbie messing about with you. 
your stuff. Now I've seen on Grey's Anatomy where they get it wrong. Yeah, exactly. Interns become residents. Residents become fellows or practicing doctors. These changes and the inexperience surrounding them has led to many unfortunate patient errors in the past. And they're usually not as funny as like when they happen on Scrubs. <laughs> That's Hollywood for you. <laughs> 19. Crickets can tell you the temperature. Wait, what? While this might sound like some kind of Crickets. old wives tale, it's actually scientifically sound. Crickets are cold blooded and take on the temperature of their surroundings. Okay. When the temperature rises, the chemical reactions that allow them to chirp come on more rapidly. By using a formula, you can count the chirping and determine what the temperature is outside. <laughs> what? I haven't seen a cricket, have you? Pablo Pic yeah, yeah, on I've, holiday, yeah. I haven't seen one. Um, but imagine, mate, just listening. Write it down, that's that many, that minute, that's that many, that hour. Boom, I could just look to my phone for the temperature. Yeah, he's also <laughs> his full name, has 23 words. Though it would seem silly to think that someone could have such a long name and discounted immediately, Pablo Picasso was indeed named Pablo Diego Jose Francisco de Paula Juan Nepomuceno Maria de los Remedios Cipriano de la Santissima Trinidad Martir Patricio Clito Ruiz y Picasso. Wow. I mean, he nailed that. But like, way too many I names. I wish I had a name at school. Oh, I'd be a nightmare, but way I, too I many I can names. see why he just went with Pablo Picasso. Yeah, definitely. And by the way, he did nail that fair play. He did nail that. Wow. Neat. 17. A physician weighed the human soul using a scale. A 20th century physician named Dr. Do Duncan McDougall attempted to measure the mass lost after a human died, believing the soul leaving the body had mass. He measured six patients at the moment of death with varying results, though he believes his first was the most accurate. Of course, his research has been heavily discounted. 16. Yeah, I don't know. Dogs are raised for food in China. While most of the Western world oh. raises chicken, cows, and sheep for food, oh, so China and some other Eastern That's countries so do something totally different. They raise dogs for food. And at the Yulin Dog Festival, approximately- yeah, leave the dogs alone. Leave the dogs alone. 10,000 dogs and cats are killed and eaten at the feast. That at the feast. Coca-Cola used to contain cocaine. While it's hard yeah, to I've determine exactly how much cocaine was what? an early part of the this. popular fizzy drink Coca-Cola, it did in fact have cocaine in it. However, it's doubtful it had enough in it to make someone an addict. 14. Doubtful. Your phone that's not concrete. is disgustingly but, dirty. Oh yeah, phones are Yeah, dirty. phones are, yeah. People go to the toilet back to with the, them. Back to the Coca-Cola one. Yeah, this is like back in, back in the day. This is a long time ago. Like before me. Oh yeah, way before you. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Is that when it first came out? Yeah. Quick, how often do you give your phone a good scrub down? I'm going to guess the answer was seldom to never. The chances are good everyone's phone is a germ infested piece of plastic and metal. Yep. In fact, just to compare, researchers did a study and swabbed bathroom door handles in comparison to cell phones and found the door handles significantly I've less dirty. That's mad I've in it. 13. There's a secret in club inside yeah, it's mad in it. By Disneyland. Oh. There's a popular myth going around that Disney has a secret club. It turns out that it's not a myth at all. Opened in 1963, Club 33 was intended as a super secret part of Disneyland to entertain celebrities, politicians, and park investors. However, most park guests wouldn't notice it, as there are no visible signs or doors, and it blends into the park naturally. To get inside, someone would need to show you the entrance and press the secret buzzer to open the door. Ooh. 12. Okay. The eighth president was the first American. While George Washington was really? the first president of the United States, he was also a former subject of the British Crown. Martin Van Buren was born in the United States, becoming the first president to be a citizen under the Constitution. Oh, wow. 11. First born. Al Gore Wait, and Tommy Lee Jones were roommates. It might seem unlikely that a politician and an actor could be roommates, but it's true. Al Gore and Tommy Lee Jones roomed together at Harvard. Jones even yeah, gave did. the nominating I speech to Gore at <laughs> I was there too. Were you from Harvard? <laughs> the 2000 from Democratic Harvard. Presidential like Convention. Harvard, 10. Earth is the only planet in our solar system not named after a god. Some oh? of the planets in our solar system oh, are given Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're telling me Pluto is a god? Yeah, no, the, the gods like Neptune and stuff like that, yeah? Saturn, I guess. The gods? I guess so, like ancient Greek gods oh, and stuff like that, yeah. Oh my god. Were well, you thinking like. I'm thinking of religion gods like Allah and. Al no, and... no. I'm thinking the. Ain't no god called Pluto. That's a little That's a little animal, isn't it? Probably? No, I should definitely. I should never pause this. Pluto, is I that... would... Pluto, isn't he a little character? I don't know. I don't know. Like Goofy, but it's Pluto. 
Maybe I'm wrong. I, I have no, I'm wrong. absolutely no clue. All I wanted to say was maybe the gods were named after the planets. That's all no. I wanted to say. <laughs> system not named after a god. Some of the planets in our solar system were given names long ago based on Roman and Greek mythology, naming them after gods. However, Earth was the only planet not named after a god. In modern times, the tradition of naming planets after mythological gods continued with Neptune, Uranus, and Pluto. Yeah, Nine. I love that. One twin can be born two months older than the other. True. Oh, wow. Here's a common scientific myth Makes that sense. isn't actually a myth. Not ready to come A yet. Romanian woman gave birth to a set of twins seven weeks apart. After her first child was born, she immediately stopped having contractions. The doctors advised that she keep the other baby inside to develop a little longer. Oh, she carried her second child for seven more weeks before delivering by yeah, C-section. I thought that's the best of both of us because, um, for the twins, because they have a twin. Yeah. Cool. And, and they have separate birthdays because definitely. I always feel sorry for twins. Yeah, but... Because I think it's cute and cool when you're four. Yeah, no, I know you mean. When you're celebrating your 18th birthday and 21st. But if you're mm. a mum, right, we're not going to go into any detail here, but imagine, like, you just given birth like you did, right? Yeah. And then literally a month later, you've got to do it again. She has C-section. Yeah, I know, but you don't know she, you're going to have a C-section, I guess. Just like the pain. You know what I mean? Bad on time. Yeah, but then you think people have like five kids. You do get double the uh, baby payout, though, if you have two babies. I don't think that's Eight. Like promote. Snakes can swim up your toilet. What? Yeah, I've seen well, this. Well, it may sound like something yeah. your older brother would tell you. It's like an Australian thing. Okay. It's actually true that snakes have been found in toilets. Snakes are good swimmers and can hold their breath for a long time. Many stories have circulated over the decades about people finding snakes in their toilet. <laughs> However, it's extremely rare. Yeah. Seven. People Not illegally happening. harvest human organs. Yeah, that didn't surprise Rich me. people with failing organs will pay a high price to get a replacement. And that's exactly where black market human organ traffickers come in, preying on third world countries, most impoverished people. They essentially steal people's organs and sell them to the highest bidder. How do you steal Those organs, organs end up in the US where... Oh, I, I... Do you not have to open them up? In the worst case, I guess it's kidnapping someone alive and stealing it, which I don't know. I'm, I'm not saying that happens. I don't know. But in the other case is if they get a dead body, they steal the dead body and quickly get their organs before they're gone. I, I, I don't know. I've never looked into the organ stealing business, to be honest. But they'd wow. be my guest. Let us know in the comments if you've looked into the business. No, that's wrong. Yeah, oh, obviously. obviously. Their surgeons, probably not knowing their origin, have been transplanting them. Six, the Pentagon is prepared for zombies. Oh, Always wow. be prepared. In the unlikely case that the undead roam the earth, the Pentagon has a plan to defend and combat against it. The Pentagon? So the University of Florida. It's actually a Pentagon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can we just be real for a second? Pentagon is what got hit in 9-11, yes? Yeah, that was the third, that I think. The, that was the third building to get hit. But it, that's the same oh. building. I say third. Second. But that's... Yeah, it, second. There's only one Pentagon in the world. There's in, only one Pentagon. America. It's the American head. It's like military headquarters. Okay, first of all... Oh, why is that, I, oh my God. I didn't realise it was actually a Pentagon shape. I've never seen it from an aerial view. Yeah. That's no, uh, that sick. Wow, sick. there you go. Every day's cool day. Is there a hexagon? <laughs> so. I really like that. That's yeah, really cool. We have a uh, zombie plan. Look it up. Five, raid the water heater for clean water. Whether you're in a hurricane or it's the end of the world, if you desperately need water, then the best place to look might be your water heater. Really? If the gas and electric is turned off, the water heater has water that is still drinkable and can easily be drained at the tap. Uh, Four, the state of Michigan threatened beavers with a $10,000 fine. In 1997, Stephen Tvedton's yeah. neighbors noticed flooding on his property traced it back to Tvedton, and complained to the state. The state determined that the flooding was because of a couple of dams built by beavers and proceeded to fine the beavers $10,000 unless they take the dams down. <laughs> Who could have thought a couple of beavers could cause so much trouble? How did the beavers... <laughs> Three. Just not otters waiting? sleep holding hands. Aww. Speaking of woodland creatures, otters have been known to hold hands while they sleep in the water so they don't separate from each other. That's, oh my God. That's adorable. Two. A building in oh, Canada is also in the United States. A little otter. Is it? Is he a little otter? He has hold our hands, doesn't he? Yeah. So it doesn't get separated. Just to get him to sleep, but then he don't care. <laughs> I don't know if he's an otter. <laughs> the Haskell Free Library and Opera House sits right on the border between Derby Line, Vermont, oh, which is and Stanford, the line in the Quebec. middle. Hmm. One. Albert Einstein wanted to be a musician, 
Fair play. One of the most renowned physicists in history, Albert Einstein once said if he were not a physicist, he would have been a musician. He played the violin. Aw. Fair play. Come on, Einstein. That was good. Did you that? Yeah, that was good. Different. Different, um, but fun. Smash that if you enjoy, guys. Smash that subscribe button as well, you absolute legends. And uh, what's your belief? Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.